Like Jeremy said earlier on the show, today is going to be a nice day, a spring-like day, and that may mean you want to take a long walk with your dog or maybe even go on a hike. But fun in the outdoors does come with some risks for your four-legged friends like fleas and ticks. New this morning, New Channel 11's Kate Nemerich spoke with a local veterinarian. Kate, what does he have to say about keeping your pets safe? Hey, good morning, Casey. Now, my cat is a strictly indoor cat. I'm working on making her an adventure cat, but the vet tells me even while she's indoors, you need to be aware about flea and tick prevention and removal because those insects can get inside your home. The vet tells me actually prevention is what's key. Fleas and ticks can be hard to spot on your pets. That's why Dr. Andrew Pizzicano with Robinson Animal Hospital says you need to get ahead of the problem by giving your pet flea and tick prevention. He says safe products can be purchased at pet stores, but be aware. Go to the grocery store and get something. It might could actually be dangerous for your pet. Um, the dollar store, you know, there's some, some things that have caused, caused skin reactions and abnormal behaviors. Dr. Pizzicano says you can look for fleas with a metal comb. Ticks may be harder to spot, but they can be found by feeling their skin or even parting their fur. If you do find a tick on your pet, you can use your fingers or tweezers to get the tick off your pet's skin. Going to get it all, and there's going to be some inflammation, so just be prepared for that. Dr. Pizzicano says this isn't something that necessarily needs to be treated, but if the pet is exposed to Lyme's disease, that could cause problems. But those symptoms won't show up right away. Within about a month to six months is really when you're going to turn positive for one of these tests. So. We do need to get them tested, I would say, about one month later, and just look out for those signs that we talked about, about limping, um, not eating well. Dr. Pizzicano tells me they typically test for Lyme's disease during your pet's annual exam, so it's important that you keep going back year after year. He says you should check in with your vet about what prevention method is best for your pet. In Johnson City, I'm Kate Nemrich, News Channel 11.